Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Darkroom, and I've been excited and waiting to release this new block site template from our Design Glow collection called Tray Chic. And one of the great things about it is it complements a whole slew of products that are being released by Design Glow. So Design Glow is, is releasing a branding kit, a social media bundle, uh, a marketing set, and an eight-page brochure that all matches this blog site. So you have the opportunity now to not only get this blog site but to go over to Design to Glow and get all of their products as well that match and you can have a completely new branded solution for your business. So I'm going to take you through some of the features of this blog site. Um, first of all this home page uh, is a really great layout. It comes with really large images here that uh, scroll through so you can put some really big images there. You have this link here for your contact. All your social media buttons right there so um, in the back end if you have a Pinterest account and a Twitter account and um, a Facebook account you can just put the links in the back end and those icons will appear there so uh, put in the the accounts you have don't put in the ones you don't and those won't appear um, and then as you scroll down on this page it really lays out the information in a really great way um, it starts you off with some welcome text here you can put your live Twitter feed here um, and you also have your most recent posts. So uh, with your most recent posts, you'll see your top three recent posts. You'll have an image that you can put in. And it does this really cool effect where you can see that the image is behind uh, that text right there. And um, then you have your, your date and, and a little bit of blurb that comes through and they can click to read more. Um, you also have this featured area here and a lot of times when we're blogging the blog posts get buried and you have either like a really great destination wedding that you've done or a boudoir shoot or um, you want to make sure that some of those blog posts that are just so great don't get buried so you might have a post that you want to bring up to the top so you can flag it so that it becomes a featured blog post so you you can get people to go back and look at uh, older posts and, and posts that you think they might be interested in. So you have that opportunity right here to add those uh, those feature posts. So I'm going to go ahead and go through some of the other features we have. So if you look at this, uh, all of our blog sites, including this one, come with our blog show product. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the pages that we've created with blog show and you can see that uh, we added blog show to this page and it's a great way to display your portfolio so we've broken it up into multiple pages um, and we're using blog show and blog show you can read a little bit more about on our website but you can see in this blog show we have all the thumbnails here so people can uh, just click through and it's a it's an easy way to build your portfolio on here and if we go back to that home page uh, I'm gonna be clicking on one of those posts and you're also gonna see how we're using blog show in the post so I'm gonna click on this post right here and you're going to see that we've uh, put blog show in in three different ways and the first the first uh, way that we did it was with the thumbnails very similar to what you saw on the portfolio page and you can see that you can just click through with these arrows or you can go ahead and click on any of these thumbnails and it'll show um, you can use it without the thumbnails and it could just be a slideshow and this one's auto playing um, and this one's just rotating through but I can just click back with these arrows um, and blog shows a great way to save bandwidth so the user is not downloading a ton of images right from the get-go um, so you're saving them a lot of bandwidth and your and your sites loading a lot faster as they're going through your blog posts um, and then if you don't want to have the slideshow or any kind of thumbnails you can actually just have them display just like this so you can have it spill out just like a regular blog post and um, what's really nice about that is this is going to allow you to bulk upload images really quickly. If you've ever used WordPress, you're going to know that it has this one at a time kind of upload and it's a little time consuming to get all these images in there. So this is going to save you a ton of time. Again, Blog Show comes with this blog site and is a great way for you to save time. Um, you can read more information about it on our site. Um, but definitely something you want to look into when you're using this. You'll notice that we have all our like buttons in here for social media. So we have Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus and Pin It and all that kind of stuff. And we also have Facebook comments. So you can take advantage of uh, people commenting uh, through their Facebook account and having them post it back to their Facebook and kind of bringing the conversation from your blog to Facebook and back. So you can kind of get their network of people involved and, and seeing what they're posting on and coming to your blog as well. So have a lot of great social networking pieces in there. Um, this blog uh, has a lot of design options. So you can come in here and you can upload a logo um, or you can type in your studio name and it'll just display right here and you have the ability to change the body color. So I'm going to go to the home page real quick. 
you have the ability to change the body color, change the fonts, uh, change this background color. And um, I'm going to go through right now and I'm going to I'm going to do something really quick. I'm going to go ahead and go to the back end of our system here and we're going to pull up the design tab and we're going to just change up the backgrounds. I just want to kind of show you how quickly and easily easy it is to change up the backgrounds um, in here. So I'm going to go to the background area and if I wanted I could upload a background. Uh, so if you wanted some sort of pattern or something we put a link in here to some great patterns and, and backgrounds that you can download for free. Uh, but I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to change up uh, this color. I'm just going to add this blue color and I can have it blend from top to bottom so I can blend these two colors or if I want it solid I can go ahead and, and uh, add that color to the bottom color and it'll blend it'll uh, blend the two colors to make it solid. I'll click save and then I'm going to come back here and refresh it. And so um, you can see how easy it is to just like add a quick background there. And then in addition you have uh, some font options. So we have some fonts that are already in there but then you can come through and you can actually upload your own fonts and um, we have all sorts of settings in here so if you wanted to have a sidebar or if you wanted to change this body background color and 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 things like that you have all those options in here as well so um, a lot of options for branding uh, so you can get in there and kind of give it your own flavor and and uh, make it the way you're looking for. And I hope that was informative and it answers a lot of your questions about this blog site. Uh, please take time to go through the demo, check it out for yourself, and get over to Design Glow and see what other products you can add on to this. And you're really going to see that it's a great package uh, when you when you group everything together. So, hope that was informative and thanks for watching.